Hello everybody. Today will be a repotting demonstration on Pinguicula morinensis. So you see this plant has one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven or more crowns. Alright, so to take the plant out, you just lightly separate it there. See there's some leftover soil because the roots on these are abnormally small for a plant, tropical plant. Pinguicula morinensis, I think they, uh, oops, they mostly use, uh, see the little roots there. They're mostly uh, anchors, the roots. So you want to remove the leaves. These build up a bunch of papery sheets. They all fall off pretty easily. I'll do one. And um, this is a prime time to take some pullings if you want. I personally don't have to, but I'll do it for the sake of the video. So grab a leaf near the bottom. Gently tug it back and forth, very gently. Up and down, back and forth. It comes off. You see this white part at the bottom here? You want that to be intact. And you would just insert it back into the soil. I'll leave that off to the side now. Because I don't really need it. So once you've got all your old leaves off, it's ready to go back in. I'm using a special kind of grit called turpus. Just a bit of, add a bit more to the old. And this is how you divide one of these guys. Find the, see there's one plant, there's another. Find where they meet. Start basically just pulling them apart. Sorry if the plant keeps going a bit out of camera, I'm trying to not break it. It's hard to pay attention to two things at once <laughs> when you're repotting something. Okay. There we go. Oh, lost a few leaves. You see, this is a whole other plant. Not many roots. It's actually long roots for a pinguicula. As you can see on the right there, a leaf fell off of this plant. You see these dangly leaves? Those can be easily taken off for propagation. And you've got a whole bunch of other plants to deal with. If you're in the same situation as me, with multiple crowns. And this plant, you can take a few more off the bottom. Take these off. And to do the repotting, you just put the plant back in the center. Oh geez, I might have broken this one. And I'll put some more soil. If you don't want it to fall around, you have to push the soil onto the sides. And a little secret for these, they can actually be grown in normal houseplant soil. And they will grow darker green and much bigger. As long as you don't put fertilizer in the soil. Otherwise, just treat them like a normal, common carnivorous plant. Low nutrient soil, clean water, which I'll be doing off camera, and uh, keep it in a tray. 